I want to welcome back to the program foreign policy expert Harley Lippman. Back on the program. Harley, thanks for coming back on. Um, let me first and foremost ask you what you think about the Joe Biden administration and how they've been handling this whole terror attack on your homeland of Israel and now his multiple calls for ceasefires and calling on Bibi to find a ceasefire, yet Hamas seems they don't want to negotiate. Do you think that's right of the American government to try to push Israel? towards this ceasefire when Hamas obviously doesn't want to negotiate? Let Israel win. You know? <laughs> and the interview's done. Well, Great. I close my right. computer. Thank you. That's good. <laughs> That's, you yeah, nailed it, they're Harley. Willing to do the, <laughs> <laughs> they're willing to do the fighting and the dying, but they need to be allowed to defeat an ISIS-type terrorist organization that hates America and hates Israel. Israel's a little Satan. America is the big Satan. That's what they say. That. Yeah, thank so, you for reiterating that, Harley, by the way, that Hamas and most of the terror groups in the Middle East actually say that. They call us the big evil Satan, and you all are the right. little Satan. And they want you wiped off the face of the earth, right, from the mountain to the sea, right. and then they want us next. That's right. Do you know what I say? The Russians want to subjugate the Ukrainians. The Chinese want to subjugate the Taiwanese. But... Iran wants to exterminate the Jews. So this is what they want to do. The footage you're seeing here now is October 7th, when they went across the border deliberately to rape women in front of their parents, burn babies, behead people, torture 82-year-old grandmothers, making them get on FaceTime so their family could see them being tortured. Mm. They were instructed to cause as much pain as possible. But getting to the war in Israel with Hamas, it's really as simple as this. What nation would tolerate another country, it's not even a country, Gaza, but some entity that crosses their border and, and slaughters their people? Israel lost 1,200 people. That's the equivalent of the United States losing 45,000 people on 9-11. This is, this is a, a Holocaust 2.0 for Israel. And they're slaughtering people in their beds just because they, they're Jews. Now, what Israel is doing is they have to be able to destroy Hamas, also because Hezbollah in Lebanon is looking to enter the fray and start a war with Israel. And Israel has to send a message in no uncertain terms to Hezbollah and Iran and other bad actors that if you're going to slaughter our people, we're going to make Beirut look like a parking lot. So we see the damage in Gaza. And by the way, I want to say nobody takes any pleasure and innocent Palestinian civilians being killed. It's a tragedy. It's a horror. Of course. But who's responsible is Hamas. They are deliberately exploiting their own people, hiding in tunnels. They don't have one air raid shelter in Gaza. Why? Because they don't care about their own people. Right. They don't. And when these They're sympathizers, sorry to interrupt, Harley, but these sympathizers yeah. back here in America who don't understand that, right, that Hamas is the evil entity that's using civilians as human shields. All the weaponry they had, all their surveillance and communications are underground or they're in hospital schools or they're in the apartment building where there's civilians. That's what they do. And, and you can attest to this, so tell them. Um, I'm sorry, but the Israeli forces have given them warnings. They drop pamphlets and leaflets. They get on the bullhorn and they say, get out, move south, move north. We're about to bomb. Like they tell them, bad guys don't do that. They just hit you and kill you. Just to tell you how extraordinary that is, Israeli generals are really debating this issue because when they tell an apartment building you need to evacuate because there are terrorists there with weapons, Guess who leaves the apartment building? The terrorists with their weapons. <laughs> right. So, you know, Israel goes above and beyond. And, you know, when you use, let's say, a balcony of a hospital to fire a rocket into an Israeli home that kills a family, that hospital has now lost its protected status. And that hospital has put itself as a target to, to Israel, which is just trying to defend themselves. And remember, Israel is not interested in occupying Arab land or any land. Great point. They left Gaza in 2006. They left southern Lebanon earlier. So for people who accuse Israel of being colonizers, they're not in Gaza. The people in Gaza are Hamas. And these are the people who are responsible. You got it. Foreign uh, policy expert Harley Lippman, as always, man, we like your input. Thank you for coming on the program. Thank Appreciate you. you. Take care. Thank you very much.